all the noise. That's very rich. That is very rich. Mrs. Pinner's out there in the garden trying to do a bit of Tai Chi and rapidly getting one of her heads. And when she gets one of her heads, I get one of my bent ears. I'm sorry, Mr. Pinner, you've lost me. Can we go for the time? Will you kindly tell that flaming nephew of yours to switch that racket off? Oh, Mr. Pinner. Right, I'll tell him myself. <laughs> Music for morons. Skinner. The whole street can hear that, you know. What? What was that? Will you please switch that row off? Mikey, Mikey, turn it down a little, will you? I guess it was kind of loud. I'm sorry. It's still kind of loud. <laughs> oh, I said. Thank you. Maybe now we can all enjoy our Sunday afternoon in peace. Apologies, Mr. Pinner. I'll make sure it never happens again. <laughs> oh, um, by the way, Mr. Pinner, I'm putting this uh, shelf up, and I, I don't have an electric drill. You don't have one, do you? Yes, I do, actually. Oh, great! Yes, it's a really expensive one. Top of the range, got all the gadgets. Oh, it sounds ideal. <laughs> uh, yes, it is. Uh, I'd be lost without it. I bet you wish you got one. Goodbye. Oh, well, I, uh... I was wondering if I might borrow it. Borrow it? <laughs> borrow my drill? I never let people borrow my tools, never. Well, just for a few minutes, to, to put in a few raw plugs. It'd be like lending a Ming vase to the Marx Brothers, no way. <laughs> oh, thanks, neighbor. Flaming nuthouse. What's up, Doc? You, you keep away from me, you maniac. Support our furry friends. Rescue a rabbit. Help a hamster. Save a savaloy. Savaloys aren't furry. You want to see the one in my lunchbox? Stop it, Scrooge. Come on, it's all in a good cause. We're collecting for the animal sanctuary. A sponsored bunny hop. It was my idea. You surprised me. Why should I splash out my hard-earned lucre to subsidise homeless goldfish and budgerigars with creeping alopecia? <laughs> now, stop bugging me and get out of my way. <coughs> Do I take that as a no, then? <laughs> ah. There. I did it. Boy, am I good. I need this rotten old drill anyway. Hi, Angel. Hi. Oh, Mr. Pinner's in a ratty old mood. You said it, buddy. That guy's a tall spit bucket. Hi, Paul. We may have our differences, but there's absolutely no need for that sort of language. I wonder what it's all about. Speak up, Mr. Pinner. We can't hear you. Oh, I wonder what he's done now. I don't know. It's got to be something real heavy. What's going on? I don't believe it. Oh. She threw him out. Oh, no! What's happening? Oh, oh Rita, please don't do that. Oh. Michael? The Pinners ain't TV to. They're at each other's throats. See? And you two are listening and watching the... Give me those things. You can get back into bed, the pair of you. Sorry, Auntie Rita. Sorry, Auntie Rita. <laughs> Spying on the neighbors. Sitting out in the rain all night. Oh, what a shame. Ah, uh, it's his 
problem. Oh, you catch his death out here. Promises? Oh, we can't just leave him out there sitting on his suitcase. You're right, Rita. I'll go and get him a chair. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pinner! Uh, um, would you care to come in for a cup of tea? Auntie Rita, don't get involved. It's none of our business. He's coming. Now look, both of you. Don't mention what we heard what you heard <laughs> last night. He's probably feeling very sensitive at the moment, and the last thing he needs is us pouring salt on his wounds. Oh, give me a bit of credit, Rita. As if a sensitive soul like moi would go pouring salt in his wound. <laughs> <laughs> Sit down, Mr. P. Oh. Now, do you take salt in your wound? Uh, I mean, sugar in your wound. Um, in your tea. Two lumps. Where? Oh, oh, yes. Is that where Mrs. Pinner walloped you? What? Well, that was some ding-dong you were having last night, wasn't it, hey, eh? Hey, guys, why don't you go <laughs> When she threw that sofa at you... Angelo! Come on, buddy. Oh. Go Sorry, Mr. Pinner. We couldn't help overhearing. Oh, I hope you two can patch it up. No, no! In Mrs. Pinner's eyes, I've committed a mortal sin. Oh, yeah? I taped over a wrestling video. Drusilla the Killer versus Battleship Bertha. <laughs> you old rascal. Well, it wasn't my fault. She never labelled it. I thought it was a blank. Your wife threw you out of the house for that? She called me thoughtless and selfish and pig-headed and arrogant just because I refused to apologise. Well, why should I? She was to blame. Uh, well, look, um, I've, I've got to go to work. Oh, yes. I get it. You're chucking me out now. Well, never mind me. I'll just totter up and snuggle up to me compost heap to keep warm. <laughs> Mr. Pinner, sit down. Finish your tea. You know my door is always open. And if there's anything else you want, you need only ask. Oh, thank you. <laughs> I'll have a fried breakfast. Two <laughs> eggs, bacon and sausage. <laughs> and don't forget the toast. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And I'll have a proper cup of tea this time. One where the tea bag and the water actually meet up. <laughs> If it's not too much trouble. Hi there. He's still here. Who? Cyril, the magician. The man who can turn a cup of tea into a whole day. <laughs> Mr. Pinner is still here. Rita, is that you? What time's tea? <laughs> Mr. Pinner? Be wondering where You're an you angel, are. Rita King, an angel taking pity on a poor chap who's down on his luck. You're a good woman, a good woman. Look, Mr. Oh, by the way, I don't eat fish. Mmm. <laughs> oh, delicious. The broccoli was a bit undercooked, but you'll get it right next time. <laughs> I'll do my darndest, Cyril. So, where am I sleeping? Sleeping? Uh, now, look, Mr. Pinner, let's get something straight. Oh, my rheumatoid arthritis couldn't stand another night out there on that lawn. <laughs> oh, bless your heart, Rita King. Your reward will be in heaven. Ah, uh, do you know, I've just remembered, the spare room is in the middle of being redecorated. No, it isn't. <laughs> The bed's all in pieces. And what What with the smell of paint fumes? Nobody would want to sleep in there. I am sorry, Mr. Pinner. Oh, I see. Oh, well, never mind. I understand. There's no problem. Good. I'll sleep in his room instead. What? <laughs> Perfect solution. Oh, you'll love it in there, Mr. P. It's the nicest room in the whole... Ah, ah, Auntie Rita, could I have a word with you, please? There's no way that creep show is taking over my room. No way. Don't worry, Michael. I'll get rid of him. Leave it to me. Oh, what a comfy mattress. Thank you, Michael, for letting me have your room. Ah, <laughs> oh, my cocoa. Thank you, good lady. 
Uh, Mr. Pinner, I, uh, I took the liberty of calling your wife. Ooh, the skin on this Coco. <laughs> she wants you to come home. All you have to do is say you're sorry. Sorry for what? She's the one who should be apologizing, throwing me out like that. I'm not going back there begging for forgiveness. It's a matter of honor. Not today, not tomorrow, not in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. P! Oh, don't keep saying P, please. This is the third morning we've stood out here like lemons. Oh, don't say lemons. Well, lemons grow on trees, and trees have bark, and bark's a noise made by a dog. <laughs> and a Chinese dog's a chow, and in Italian, chow means cheerio, which is another way of saying toodaloo. And that's precisely where I've got to go now. <laughs> toodaloo! Come on, Mr. Pinner! <laughs> Morning, everyone. And how are we this morning? We? Sorry. Ah, ah. <laughs> What's for breakfast? I'm famished. <laughs> oh, look at me. You asked him to stay. I did not. He just... Oh, my strength. Need another bathroom. I tell you this for free. If they were dishing out trophies for rudeness and insensitivity, Pinner's mantelpiece would be hanging off the wall. He's arrogant, he's thoughtless, he's selfish. He's the most unpopular man on the street. On the street? <laughs> Make that all points north of the river. And I'm talking about the Zambezi. Is it any wonder his wife threw him out? <sighs> the man is insufferable and he's living in my house. Can't you just ask him to leave? Yeah, I'm gonna have to. When? Soon. Mr. Pinner, oh. turn that frown upside down. Leave me alone. What's wrong? Everything. Apart from that. Oh, go away. You wouldn't understand. Go on, tell me. Why should I? You're just like all the rest of it. You all hate me. Oh, I don't hate you. My wife does. Rita King does. Her nephew does. The whole street does. No, that's just not true, Mr. Pinner. Mrs. Fraser across the street doesn't hate you. But doesn't she? No, she detests you. Why do they, Angelo? I mean, I'm a reasonable bloke. I'm friendly, I'm helpful, I'm generous. What are you looking at me like that for? <laughs> Only helpful and generous. What? Mr. Pinner, think back. Think back to the other day. Look. Look at how things could have been. music your nephew's listening to? Um, I, I don't know. Right, I'll ask him myself. Uh, is that sins of the flesh you're listening to there? Sorry, is it too loud? No, no. Only I'm on the phone to my brother. He works at the Hammersmith Odeon and he heard the music and he said that band's playing there tonight. Would I like some free tickets? I said, that lovely boy next door might like some. I'll go and ask. Tonight? Fantastic. Can I, do you need to carry? Sure, that's great. Thanks, Mr. Pinner. You're a pal. Happy to oblige. Oh, um, by the way, 
Mr. Pinner, I'm a, I'm fixing this shelf here. And I don't have an electric drill. You wouldn't have one, would you? Want to borrow it? Nah, I'm sure we can do better than that. <laughs> there you go. Solid as a rock. Oh, I can't thank you enough, Mr. Pinner. <laughs> Any other jobs? Just give me a call. Cheerio. Hello, Angelo. <laughs> Support our furry friends. Certainly, Angelo. Here's 20 quid. <laughs> Make it 30. <laughs> Have the drill as well. <laughs> Log it. Give the money to those lovely animals. Thank you, Angelo. <laughs> what a great bloke, eh? Yep, that Pinner sure is a swell guy. Everybody likes him. I sure envy his wife being married to such a kind, generous, and thoughtful man. Yep, he's one in a million. <laughs> Good old oh, Mr. Mr. Pinner. <laughs> oh, my thing. My own worst enemy. Thank you, Angelo. I've seen the light. <laughs> Today is... The first day of the rest of my life. Mabel! <laughs> Mabel! <laughs> Love <Lovely> Mabel! <laughs> it's all right, you know. He's gone. Peter's gone? Gone where? Gone home. To his wife. I had a word. Put him straight. Now! We can finally have our house back to ourselves again. Uh -oh. oh, Mrs. Pinner! Something weird has happened to my Cyril. <laughs> He's come over all nice. He's rushed out and bought me uh, flowers and chocolates and a new set of barbells. He's over there now, hoovering the stairs. He keeps calling me Petal. Every time I look at him, he's... He's smiling at me. He's a changed man. Yes. Isn't it wonderful? Wonderful? Oh, it's, it's feeling unbearable. I can't take it anymore. You said your door was always open. Yeah, but I, and I'm moving in with you. Right. Ooh. Now, you can take these up to my room. Oh, by the way, what's for supper? <laughs> Little Gizmo is going to tune into our individual thought patterns and transfer all the brain waves from my head into yours and all the brain waves from your head into mine. Angelo, you're out of your mind. <laughs> Holy baloney! It worked! Told you it would. How, how did you. The brain transference only lasts for another 48 seconds. And now I'm him and he's me. What do you mean, huh? Oh, brother. That looks good next week, doesn't it? Yes, more from uh, uh, Michelangelo next week. Tomorrow, it's 5 to 4. It's TV's own.